photo shoot session. So this is the part where probably a lot of people like to go to, but it's no good unless you build a framework, which we did for the first two sections. This is not the type of photo shoot where we just try to make pretty photos. We are going to have a very clean structure that will help everyone out there, no matter what level you're at, be able to make sense of any place. So that's why we had to spend so much time building that framework so we, it, it can all make sense now. Um, I have my six awesome audience members, which they're going to get totally picked on. And we're going to have a lot of challenges for them. And we're going to start fixing them based on the stuff that I spoke, the, the 777 uh, elements that we discussed. Um, we're going to be looking at small details, the hands, the weight, how the weight is distributed. We're going to especially focus on breaking down locations in this segment, uh, but we're still going to apply all the, all the principles of posing that I spoke about. Tomorrow we're going to focus on posing more heavily, but today we're still going to implement it so it's repetitive and it sticks in your mind. Um, we're also going to create uh, subject emphasis through lighting, through size, and through focus, uh, selective focus. And I'm not going to let any students take a photo unless they have one of those three in their mind or two of them in their mind. Because from now on, they're going to take solid photos. <laughs> Nothing where they blend in with the environment. The bride and groom or the fashion model, whatever, are going to stand out. And there will be no doubt. Uh, we're inside this library, so I don't know if you can pan the camera around, but there is it's a library. So we have wood, carpets, floors. We have a couple of windows. We have some paintings with some glass, with some frames. We have these stools to sit, to lay on or sit on. We have all these chairs. Um, we have a bunch of books. We have small little lamps, windows, chairs, and this little dome light going on in the ceiling. The reason why I say that is because if you're listening at home, I want you to start looking around the scene and try to see if you can find three color elements or less, seamless colors. If you try to find balance, symmetry, if you try to um, find a, a way to make shadows, find patterns, repetitions, uh, balance, symmetry, you name it. And especially the lighting tools we have, our window light. We have my 600, Canon 600 flashes. We have um, Jerry Gionis' ice lights available for us to light up the, the models. And we have reflectors and diffusers. So to my awesome audience members, your tools to create subject emphasis is going to be your window light, your the diffuser, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to use it creatively somehow, and I'll help you. Reflector, ice lights, and flashes. Okay, um, so we'll get go ahead and get started. Do you guys have any questions? No. Nope. No. All right, we have Matt coming out. So here's Matt. We're gonna have Keisha come out and join us in a little bit. She's still putting on makeup. So I'm going to basically pick on my very first student is going to be David. <laughs> I want you to um, you have Matt, you have window light, diffuser, reflector, ice lights, flashes, the lenses, and the, and the Canon gear, right? Okay. I want you to start by giving, using the room's items to create a photo that has contrast. Okay. Contrast. So, somehow he has to be lit in a contrasting way. Right. There has to be elements of contrast in this location, okay. which there are plenty of. Yes. Uh, if you're watching online, take a lot, take around, look at the room, and see what could you do for yourself if you were looking for a contrasting situation. Okay, so take a look, David, and see what you want to do. Study the light. Study what you have available to you. And uh, I can help you. All right. Okay. Don't worry about it. Just 
Try it. I know already what I want to do. Go ahead. I want to put him on that chair. Okay. I've got him by the window light. It's, it's, okay. Um, it's some um, kind of strong window light, so it should be quite contrasty. Okay. Let's try that. So the camera is right there. Right. Now, do you, you just Canon, right? Or no, Nikon? Nikon. Okay. So, so we're going to have to use, you're going to have to use this one for now. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, the focusing point's in the middle. Right. This is your aperture. This is your shutter speed. Where's the aperture? Right there, that wheel. Okay. Here's your shutter speed. Okay. Here's your shutter. All right. The, the focus right now is through the shutter button. Okay. So if you push this halfway, it will lock it, and then you can recompose. All right. Okay? So Here you go. I'm just going to put this down for, for a moment. Yeah, take just, a look. And just pose him. Yep. Um, so Matt, yeah. David, I'm just going to move the chair a bit just right. to get the light in your face. Yeah, and sure. let's see what happens when we move this chair backwards. Can you sit down again? Let's see what happens. All right, lights in his face. Could you turn that way a bit? Chin down a little. Okay. Go can ahead. I can I get some help with a reflector, please? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to get white just to balance <coughs> balance the light on that side a little bit. So I want to get some light, um, a little bit of fill. It's not. We can try the other one. Yeah, yeah maybe the silver. Right. Yes. Okay. Can I get you to lean forward, sit forward in the chair a little bit? Yes. All right. And I like the way, I like his expression and the way he's looking, so I'm just going to go with it. Before you shoot, right. before you shoot, what is going to happen in the background. Take a look at the background and tell me what could be a potential problem for you. Uh, the lamp could be a distraction. Okay, depending on what angle you depending shoot from. Depending on the angle I shoot from, yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to go fr from above so that my plane of, of focus, my, my, my yeah. imaginary plane, imaginary plane yeah. hits his eyes first. Good job, awesome, okay. Um, I like the way his his elbows are bent. We're not, we don't have a 90 degree angles. Okay. And um, let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see. Pictures right here. What is You're it? You're at 3.5. Okay, that's you good. You want to maybe ch change the shutter speed, maybe? Right here. Right here. Yep, just keep going. So make it darker. Yep, there you go. Oh, yeah. Right? It's too bright. Yeah. Yep, go ahead. Okay, so you can go ahead and put the camera down. That sounds great. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and discuss how we can arrange, how we could have turned this into a more dynamic, cleaner background, okay? okay. The first thing is, if you're gonna go for the contrast, that fill light was good, but right. it evens out the light. Okay. Right? It, it would just even it out, which is fine. My biggest concern is the back of the chair is completely pretty much almost blown out by the sun, right. which would compete with his face. See what I mean? Um, the body positioning is a little bit awkward because he's sitting too far back on the chair. Yeah. So the, your angle that you shot it from was right on the money, but this time try to bring his body on the edge of the chair. So go ahead and sit on the edge of the chair. All right. And forget that armrest because he's putting his body in a weird position. Yeah. Go ahead and lean forward and rest comfortably. There you go. Now he looks more confident. He doesn't have this side view going on. Right. Now the challenge is Can there's a stripe of sun going right through his face. Right. Right. And we have these tools 
this is the this is the tool of choice that would have really helped you out. Is this guy right here? Yeah. Put this guy. Could you do me a favor? Put this guy. Look at the way he cleans up that light on him. So light right there. And try to make sure. I don't know if you can get that chair there too. And let's see what he looks like. So what we just did, we just evened out the scene in terms of luminance levels, yeah. in terms of light. His face, if you bring that diffuser closer to him, it's gonna, he's going to get brighter and brighter. You see how it gets brighter and brighter? Yeah. And the chair is still pretty bright, but it's not full of sun. Okay. okay. So now, this is, this is the short side of the face. This is the part that I'm going to illuminate. This is the, the longer side of the face. This is the broad side of the face. Yeah. I'm going to shoot from... I'm probably going to shoot from this angle and the same angle that you wear right. and see if we can fix it. So one thing, let me see here. All right, Matt, um, where are you looking at right now? Take a look at, let me see, let's try different eye positions. Are you looking at, can you, looking at, can you see the light switch right there? Okay. Right there? Stay where you are, just take a look at the light switch. And lean forward just a tad more. Now, let's see, that looks quite good. Lean forward just a tad more. I'm gonna focus on that eyeball closest to me. And then, I mean on the, on the eyeball that's brightest. And then I'm going to Snap this. Good, let's try one more time. Okay, we're not really necessarily need to show the whole body, right? We don't need to show the whole body. We can just show the part that we like, right. okay? If we do this, it's putting way too much context on the photograph. See yeah. that? It's just putting way too much context. Now you have bright spots all over the place. Right. It's just not going to work. But I will actually like to see that the back of the chair has got that wooden yeah. frame. Yeah. That's going to be a problem because it's, it's going right. It's like a horizon line and it's going right over his head. Okay. Does that make sense? So if you do stand up to try to get a higher vantage point, you can eliminate that issue. Can you smile at that light switch? Yep, that's very good. Take a look at me, turn your camera, chin down. Very good. Now go ahead and look at the diffuser. A little less, right there, right there. Another thing I could do is turn the camera to a monochrome, put it in black and white, and then you can really get a reading of what the light looks like, which is pretty cool. And create a really cool photograph. See that portrait? Now you see that sunspot right there? Right. That's causing me problems. So you don't want to show that anymore, so I'm going to crop that sunspot out. And then you have something like this going on. Can you bring your nose slightly to the right? That way that nose doesn't cross over the cheek yeah. and it doesn't elongate it. Tilt your head, your forehead down a little. Right there, right there, right there is good. One more time. And last one. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see this, but you can try, this is a very contrasting situation. Yeah. The monochrome really helps you out to see the light better. Yeah. And we got rid of a lot of these distracting spots. Like for example, you see all these comp competing elements? Yeah. You're gonna get rid of this. All this is competing with your, with your groom. Right. See what I'm saying? You just wanna get, Something more like that. 
along mm -hmm. those lines. And kind of fill from the other side. You can do that, but if you, if you want to remove the contrast, right now this is like a contrasting situation. The only thing that's not, that's not helping is this, this, uh, the, the wood part of the chair is going right over them, right mm -hmm. over him. Mm -hmm. But that's why we switched angles by getting a higher vantage point. And you can put that above his head. Right. You see what I mean? Yes. And it looks a lot interesting. So good job. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Next. Uh, Uh, let's see, who wants to go next? Any volunteers, Nikki? <laughs> Come on. Nikki, take a look around the room. Okay. Try to identify where you can create some sort of reflection. Okay? Reflection. You're going to create some sort of reflection with the elements that you have. Okay. To help you, you have ice light, reflector, okay. kind of thing, okay? I mean, I'm seeing reflection we could use here in the glass or even, I don't know if the artwork, if it would be bright enough. I might need your help with this. Um, Where would you go first if you were going to go for a reflection? I mean, the most obvious would be the glass. But what's wrong with that glass? Um, it's not a... There's a lot of patterns, colors, mm -hmm. lots of different colors. But they're all part of the same family, so that's okay. Okay. Um, what else is going on? Look at, look at other areas of the room. It's dark. There's really not a lot of places, right? Yeah. You have two choices. You can do this bookcase, or you can use, which is what I would do, you can use the painting, right? Okay. Now, the painting's not going to cause a very good reflection. But that's only if you point at the painting directly on. Right. So what I mean is, if you put Matt here and you point at it, it's going to give you the boat. Right. Right? But if you point this way, if you point this way, it will be able to give you just the glass and the glass reflection. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you can, you can try that. Okay. So right now, I can see you, can see you. and a reflection of you because I'm going at it from okay. this point of view. Does that make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. Now, of course, to get this to work perfectly, which if you were doing this, I would have to uh, turn, tone down the window light and then use an ice light to illuminate you. Okay. So let me see if I can get an ice light out. Do we? And... Uh, We can get a nice light, and then you can go ahead and put Matt over here. So, well, I'll have you, well, yeah, I guess it works. Anyway. Feel free to move the bench, too. Like, you can move the elements around you to make it work. Okay. Can you see the reflection there? Yep, so come a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so relax your hands. Yeah, that actually looks really nice right now. You can illuminate I'll wait, you his weight's on one foot. Do you want the light? Um, the problem now is I can see the reflection of the light, so we'd have to move it around. So you just have to go at or a higher vantage point? At, yeah. Right? Right. And I can still, I wonder if we could turn that light off, because I can still see the reflection of that light. Would it be possible if you can, if you do this, would that help it? No. Would you remove well, that background? Oh yeah, if, if I cropped him, just You can do whatever right you need to do to make it work. Yes, Does that, that work? would work. So this needs to be um, a little bit higher. Can you hold that for me for a second? Mm -hmm. Let me see something. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So obviously the white side is going to give you better reflection than the boat part, right? Mm -hmm. So you can shoot it from here and you'll have a cool thing. Now what is he doing with his hands? Nothing. Okay, so they're Put just in the pocket. In pocket. Maybe he's tying the button. Maybe he is looking let me see. at his cufflinks or something. Yeah. See, now that he's looking, now he's looking at the light. The reflection looks a lot better. Okay. If you turn his face this way, see what I mean? 
I can't see the reflection. You can't, but it, it's just not it's working not right. You always kind of want to turn your body towards the light, right? Right. So he would have to be adjusting his tie or something. You don't have to show his eyes either. You can just crop from the lip down. You can be creative on your crops. You don't have to say, here's Matt, I'm going to show the whole mat. Right. You know, we don't, obviously we don't need to show the feet because this is the only place we can actually get the reflection. Right. Okay. So go ahead and take the shot. Let me see. Can you? Okay. I've never used a Canon before, so you might have to help me. Okay, so here's your, I can okay, help you with this, this is your focus. shutter speed. Okay. This is your aperture, here's your shutter speed. Shutter speed? Mm-hmm, see, changes. Yep. And there's your, your, your shutter. Okay. The focusing is on the shutter button. Okay. okay, thanks. Be creative on your crop. Make sure there's nothing bright, brighter than him. Right. In the background. And I'm gonna turn this around because of this little flap, you see this? So right, right there. Okay. Just tell me how you want to pose. Okay, so look towards the light. Uh, hold on, I need to say something. If you say look towards the light, they're going to look at the light and it's going to okay. hurt their eyes. Okay. Tell them to look in the direction of the light, so tell them to look at the bears or something. So then okay. his eyes go through the light, but they're not looking at the light. Okay. And yeah, that's perfect with your hand. Actually, you could relax your fingers a little bit and bring it up about two inches. Yeah, about right there. There's a 90 degree angle on the arm, almost. Oh yeah, that's Lower true. his arm, so actually down to button his jacket with one hand. Just with use, okay, use so one hand. Okay, so one hand button, yeah. See how he looks all GQ now? You think? Yeah, just, he looks like he's got this, try it out, crop from the lip down. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at your light meter here and I'm trying to, it's okay. just different from mine. Oh, there we go. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, it's just so foreign that it's not my <laughs> it's okay. camera. If you don't like the hand, put it down in the pocket, that's fine. The other one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, bear with me with this camera. Okay. Okay, can you um, tilt your. Actually, we'll just try it. I kind of cut off his face. Can you tilt your chin down just a tiny bit? It's, it's pretty cool. Try, a, try another one of those, but crop, crop his eyes out maybe. Start from the underneath the nose level. Try it. Try that. That's kind so of cool. show his face equally so you balance the reflection okay. on the edge of the, of the frame. Oh, I see. Crop both of his eyes out. Balance, the, balance him and the reflection. So th that's pretty balanced, right? But yeah. this time actually show, show more of his eyes again. Go ahead. And then let's try that also without the diffuser in the back and see what that looks like. Too. Yeah, it, that's just, yeah. That, so to try that, see if that works. Oh, that's not very balanced. It's cool. I mean, you see yeah. how he's the brightest part, but you're adding a little that hint really, or that something. Really is cool. So it's starting to you're starting to, to make something that's not normal for most people right. to even think about. To just so take yeah. a painting and turn it into something. Into that a reflection, looks very sure. Or have him take a step forward so the frame is not in the way. Now you can you now you can try that again. Yeah, and you can lean your shoulder all the way against. But don't put too much weight on that shoulder, yeah. otherwise, yeah. yeah. And take a picture of him and just maybe add a hint of the reflection this time. Take a vertical I'm shot. So, I'm so used to back button focusing, and every yeah, time I, I hit it, yeah, I know. I'm so it's like re, I'm re. <laughs> <laughs> How do I just toggle? Toggle what oh, right here. Do. Just to move just, the focal. Just point. recompose instead of moving it. That way, okay. it's not too complicated. Okay, you have the brightest part of him is him, right? You have that lamp that's distracting you, and that window's introduced, right? Mm -hmm. But try to get a little bit of that reflection on him, and see if you can increase it or help it or. Or you can back up a little too and zoom in. Oh my gosh. Okay, so 
at the, one of the first shots you had, you had a little bit of his reflection, but it was more like a portrait of him, mm -hmm. right? And that looked really good. Mm -hmm. You're using the painting, which to people is just a painting, and you turned it into an element to create interest in the photograph, right. okay? And with some finessing, that can look really neat. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. so Absolutely, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and step down. Let me see. We have Kishia Kish now, right? Look at her, oh my goodness, transformation. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Before we move on, a lot of people are not familiar with the ice light. Oh, could, sure. Could you just talk about that for a okay. minute? Okay, so. Thank you. By the way, uh, everybody that's watching, you're gonna get one of them, one of you guys is gonna win one of these uh, ice lights. This was designed by Jerry Giannis, as you all know. It's basically very, uh, probably the best light I've ever used for indoor lighting. It's, white, it's uh, daylight balanced perfectly, so it's like carrying window light everywhere you go. And that's why I like it so much. It doesn't have that tungsten yellow feel to it. It's got a very window light clean feel to it. So you can go anywhere indoors and this will make it look like you have a window next to your subject. So it's really great. Thank you. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can that be mounted on anything? You can mount it on a tripod. You can put an adapter and put them multiple together. Awesome. You can do whatever you want. Cool. Um, I have two of these and I use them religiously. I use them all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Mallory, uh, come over here for a sec. Okay. We're gonna transform this room a little bit for you. Okay. Um, we're gonna turn this into a moody night shot, okay? Do you still have your necklace? Yeah, you do, okay. A moody night shot. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use the element of this little lamp. I'm gonna make the audience members, I'm sorry, the viewer of the photo think that this lamp is the light source for her, but it won't be. It will be the ice light, okay? Uh, so, so obviously we're not going to use this on the picture, right? So we'll take that out. We're going to try to transform the room so you can use it at its best, okay? It doesn't have to be all window lit. You can create other kinds of looks. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now if you want, we can start out with this, with this chair or we can put another of these chairs in here, which might be good because it might be lower. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but we can try it with this first. If we don't like it, we can switch the chairs, okay? Now remember about the spinal cord and all these different things. You're going to pretend, you can sit her up here so she's got this really straight, really model look to her. If you sit her on the couch, she's gonna slouch, mm -hmm. okay? So choose something hard, so I think this will be a good spot, or the very edge, okay? okay. Now this guy is gonna have to be moved, so it, it appears as, it's, as if he was sliding her, okay? Um, let me see. Okay, Kishia, go ahead and take a seat. Now, we can have the ice light to pose. Okay. So, I mean, to light her up. But right now, that light's obviously not doing anything, right. but we're going to help it, okay? okay? And you might wanna maybe even turn that seat that way so she can angle herself from the camera. Can I put it, can I move it back? Yeah, also? of course. Where will she sit now? Where will she sit? Yeah on the edge of the chair. Okay, on the very edge like that. Very mm -hmm. nice. I guess if I could get the... Okay, stand, take a look at the angles that you're gonna shoot from, because mm -hmm. if you shoot from there, you're backlighting, right? Right. If you shoot from here, from where I'm at, you have that green curtain, which is a, 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 oh, a softer yeah. tone. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Right, I see And that's saying. more balanced. If you shoot from here, if you shoot this way, you can still tone it down because of that. So right. choose the angle that you want. Don't go for the first obvious, which is the front. Okay. Um, Casey, will you look? Yeah, more towards me. Okay. Um, back. More. Maybe can I try? Don't forget her hands. Right. I do need a. Let's try the isolate on this side. Yeah. 
Can you say, will you look at me? Just a tiny bit. Yeah, I like that. I think that's pretty. Um, there is some shadow right here on her cheek, which I'm not sure if I like or not. Um, can you move it over a little bit? That's too much, a little less. Maybe right there. Oh, yeah, I like that. Can I stop you for a second, Mother? Uh -huh. Now, you're using the chair to sit on, mm -hmm. but the chair has other uses too. You can choose the chair, you can use the chair as a back, as a backrest for her back. So instead of sitting on the chair, she could sit on the floor. Hmm. And then her back is up against the chair and that's a backrest. Okay. That way the light is above right. her. Because okay. right now the Do light's like right at the there. same. I want to try that without the ice light. Okay, yeah, let's try sitting on the chair. Thanks, Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now you can use this right. and try to balance it somehow, right? Can I see that ice light real quick? So it will look like that, mm -hmm. it, and people will think that this is what's lighting her up. Oh, I see. So instead sense? of having it, on that right? Side. You see how you can really get right. into it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here you go. Okay. All right. Can I get the camera? I'll let you yeah, borrow it. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe up a tiny bit higher, and yeah, right there, over a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Now she's got a necklace. Just want to mention it, and that necklace could also be used to give her hand something to do that looks more natural. Will you take your right hand and kind of hold your necklace? Um, yeah, so we can see the charm a little bit. Um. And I wanna stop you one more time. Mm -hmm. the, she's facing against the light, she should be facing towards the light. So if you want the light to be this way, I would photograph her either from here or you would have to stand over there. So go ahead. See, because you want her nose to be pointed towards the light, right? Right. You want her face to be the brightest point. Can we turn up the volume on this? Now her fingers are not soft, mm -hmm. so we can work on all of that. It's probably because the angle that she's sitting at is too straight for the arm to be so far back. I see. Does that make sense? Mm Now, you don't have to use the necklace. I was just saying, it, it's a tool that you can use to give the hand something to do. Okay? Let me see what I... Will you try looking down at your necklace? I just want to see. No, I don't like that as much. Okay. And then... Try putting your left arm down. Um, yeah, just perfect. Actually, will you kind of like lay it on the ground like that? There you go. That was too dark. You use Canon or Nikon? I use Nikon, so this is all okay. backwards to me. So here, you can Here's your shutter speed, it's slowing down, see that? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And here's your aperture, you can make it go to 2.8. Okay. And if you want, we can make your ISO 1250, that yeah. was a lot brighter. That'd be good. Okay, go ahead. You might want to speed up the shutter speed, that's going to be too, too yeah. bright. Are you happy with how, with how it looks? Let me see. Yeah, I think so. It's just that the um, lamp gets in the way and, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know how to crop it. Well, you're backlighting her and it looks really nice, right? You have the lamp illuminating that side, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You don't show the lamp, so you don't know where the light source is from. And if you could, you could add that as an element. So you could come this way. You could come this way, stay like that. Keep your arms like that, keep playing, that's fine. Now, we're gonna turn her face towards the light. Right, so mm -hmm. see how she is already? Mm -hmm. Stay just like that, don't even move. Now you see the, the ratio of the eyeballs and the iris is a little too, yeah. too, much, eye, too much white. Uh -huh. So 
bring your eye, iris a little bit. There you go, and then down a little bit. See right there? Or you can try chin up a little to get that light to really like fill her up, and then close your eyes. Good, and put your hand over the other hand and straighten your back. Right. So put her hand like over like you're like this, protecting it or something. Chin up to the left. Oh, sorry, to your right. Right. Close your eyes. And now, can you put, uh, let me see something here. Go ahead and look down. Look higher up. And then look more that way, like come across this way, right there, right there. Can we put more light on this side of her? Look straight at the camera. Straight at it, yeah. Chin down. Now look past to this armrest right here. Kind of bring your hands down, slightly soften them. And with your hand, grab the left side of your hair and just strain it a little bit. The other side, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it, yeah, that's it, slowly. Chin up. And turn your chin this way a little more. There you go, just keep looking in that direction. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, that's very nice. I'm gonna probably do one more here. Okay, let's look at this real quick. When I introduced, so first she's definitely the brightest person in the, in the thing, in the place, right? Mm -hmm. Did you see the chairs distracting? Mm -hmm. I don't know, how should I point this? Point this at the... the person is distracting, uh, this part of the chair is pretty bright, but it's not as bright as her, so it takes away, okay, it, mm -hmm. but it's fine. If I introduce the light bulb, which is something I tried, mm -hmm. it's too bright. it becomes a distraction and it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Right. This whole room was transformed by turning off the lights and using the video light and the right. lamp. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that lamp is giving her that yellow, beautiful tone, but the ice light's giving her that window light. So it looks really nice and contrasting, right? Mm -hmm. But this photo is obviously not working because of that. Right. Um, this photo's, this photo's definitely more on the attractive side just because I had her put her chin down mm -hmm. and I got rid of her eyelids altogether, right? Mm -hmm. And you have all these contrasting rooms. Now, because she's sitting on the floor, is what makes this pose look like that. If she was sitting on this chair, she would be too, at a too high of an angle right. and you wouldn't, it wouldn't look the same. Can you sit on the chair for me for a sec? Thank you. If you were to do that, turn this way and chin down. I'm gonna actually speed up. This is not gonna work. It just changes everything about it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Turn, look at this, compare it to, compare it to the portrait right there, mm -hmm. okay? So, cool. <laughs> Give me tiger. Give me tiger. Okay, good job. <laughs> All right, so, what you learn from this is probably that the chair is a chair. Yes, but you can use the chair in so many different ways. Like, it was used to sit on, look at the way she's standing now, her arms are resting, you could use it to sit on the floor and rest your back on it. Remember to look at the objects, not for what they are, like a chair means you sit on the chair. Right. But it doesn't have to mean, mean you sit on the chair. Right. You can do something else with the chair. Uh, the lamp doesn't have to illuminate her, it can give her a contrasting light source to give her that orange feel to it. So you can just paint with light, you know what I mean? 
these bookcases here are all part of the same color tone, right? right? There's also a sense of balance because there's three bookcases. So if there's three bookcases, this would not be distracting at all because the colors are all pretty much the same family. So it's not like you have some random bright, bright red somewhere mm -hmm. there, you know? Uh, let's have, this could be a cool backdrop for the groom. If we can have him sit here. But then it's a little too low actually. So maybe we can do it through not sitting down. So let's have, yeah, let's see here. Okay, Matt, come this way. Um, all right, Juliana, come over. I know you know you want to come over. I want it. I've been like, why didn't he call me first? Hi. Okay. You have Matt. Yeah. You have books. Yeah. You have bookshelves. Yeah. You want him to be the focus point, right? Right. You do not put everything in focus because it's going to throw off the whole photograph. Right. Um, what do you think you should do? You have reflector. You have diffuser. You have ice light. Huh. I think it should be, could it come like on this angle? Of course, any angle. And just like take a picture yes. with all the bookcase exactly. and just focus on Good him. Good job. Does he have to be facing you? Uh, he could be facing that way. That way, right? Right. Okay, so, so that's it's good. it's more like a... Okay, go ahead and try it. There's the camera. We have eyes light. It's not back button, right? No, it's not a back button. No. Increase the shutter speed. Hold on. You're a little slow on the shutter speed. Okay. Try that. That's really dark. Okay, that's fine. Let's take that real quick. That looks really good. So you notice that he's the brightest part of the photo. Right. So there's subject emphasis through light. The background is not distracting because all the colors of the books are part of the same color palette. Mm -hmm. They're not like some crazy yellow, red, green, blue or something. It's all pretty toned down. Right. Um, let's try to finesse that pose a little bit. Okay. We can try a symmetrical pose, which will look pretty cool. Do we have two ice lights? Asymmetrical? Symmetrical posing? No, symmetrical. So, standing from the middle of this bookcase right here, actually, let's stand in the middle of this one. Let me move this. Now, I, I don't want the it. books in focus, right? No. Now, the books are just going to be like these dark, rustic colors that are going to be appearing. So, I need him to come forward about right there. And then I'll go ahead and do the 85 millimeter. Let me see. 85. Millimeter lens here. The reason why I'm going to 85 is to really get those books out of focus. Does that make sense? Because I can go to 1.2 here, although I'm not going to use 1.2, I'm going to go to 2.0. Okay, so. Okay, stand with your weight totally even. So we're gonna do symmetrical pose. Tilt your body forward and take one step this way. Put your hands in your pockets, really in your pockets. Like, don't tilt any shoulder this way or that way. Totally straight on, good. Let me see. Let's put one nice light over here. Kind of, whoop. 
kind of behind him. And then another ice light over there. I don't no, know, Julian, can you help with one of them? Yeah. You can help do this one. So now, by putting the light behind him, I'm actually taking light away from the books again and into his face. Does that make sense? Yes. But you need to actually go behind him, really behind him. So it's going to illuminate that side only. Those books are not going to be illuminated, so turn the light so you don't, you don't hit the books at all. Now bring your chin down and lean forward a bit. Chin down more and eyes up. There you go. Let me see. Okay. Let me see here. Okay, guys, take a st illuminating. Take a step away from the him. This direction. Bring that shoulder more this way, Matt. That yeah, right there. And chin down a bit. And just stay right there for a second. Good. Hold on a second. And one more. Actually, Julian, take a step this way. So those lights need to be equal distance from him. Okay. And almost. Chin down just a tad more, right there. And we can do a black and white version of this. And go back to color. And I'm going to come in a little closer. Chin down a bit. And one more. Oops, that was not supposed to happen. Chin down a little more. Let's see. There's a, his nose is illuminated on this side, but not on that side. So what do you want? Bring that light over here. That way I can get his nose equally. More, Juliana, more. Right there. Bring that light further back. More and closer to him. Now do the same, further back, closer to him. Right there, and is there a, there isn't, that's fine. Very nice, stay right there, chin down a bit. And bring that light just for a little bit back, more. Right there, just a little more. A little more, right there. Now that one too, back a little bit, right there, stop. A little more. That, back that way, there you go. I'll explain what I'm doing here. I'm explaining, I'm gonna bring the light closer to him, but same distance, there you go. So keep it further back by the books and closer to him. Okay, there's too close, I'm sorry, too close now. Okay, thanks. I want a nice light. Okay. If you guys, I don't know how we look at this, but um, I did a bunch of photos that were making his nose look bigger, some photos that make his nose look smaller. I tilted his chin down to give it that real intimate look into the eyes. I didn't want his eyes to be further back from the invisible focal plane. So come and take a look at this photo real quick. So you see all this balance and stuff, it's just like really mm -hmm. working. And even though it's crossing his head, it's so far in the background and it's so continuous mm -hmm. that you see it as a pattern. If that was the only line over his head and you wouldn't see the other ones, right. it would be a problem. So then you have the pattern. Going. You have a pattern, so it's okay. Look what happens if you look at, if you illuminate too close to his nose. Now you look at his nose, it looks humongous. Right. Okay. Uh, guys, go ahead and take a look at this real quick, if you're an audience member. You see the nose is pretty large. Mm -hmm. It's not working, right? When you're shooting, don't freak out about shooting and just shoot away. 
look carefully and ask yourself, what the heck is wrong with this photograph? And then fix it slowly. There's no need to freak out. Just fix it. When I saw that, I said, do you really want the nose illuminated that strongly? I mean, you want emphasis through light, right? But not emphasis on the nose through light. So as I was photographing him, by the way, let me explain what I was showing. See, the, the shelves are all horizontals, right? And one of them is crossing through his head. But because you see the rest of the, co of the bookshelves, mm -hmm. it becomes more like a pattern, and it doesn't bother you as much. If that was the only one that was visible, mm -hmm. it would be more bothersome. Now, that photo of illuminating with the two eye slides looks pretty cool in the same room. We're using the same room to create all kinds of moods and looks and stuff. I mean, we started out, this is a pretty interesting photo for him. We started out with, we started out with photos like that using sun. Mm -hmm. We moved to photographs like this using combination of light sources and using the chair as a way to have her sit down. Now combine this photo with this photo for the album and you start to get photos that people will hire you for no matter what the economy looks like. And you're in the same room. And you're still in the same room. Awesome. And we haven't even used this room to its not even close maximum potential. Mm. Like just looking around, it just keeps on going. <laughs>